Hey guys, it's Ryan back here from the Bureau Guys, and this upcoming Friday will be the Zero Chill promo. Already made a video showing off all the confirmation and of course the master being Chad Johnson. But other than those things guys, let's go ahead and talk about what to expect from this promo. Now obviously this promo is my favorite promo of the year and the number one reason is honestly the gifts. The gifts in this promo are always the greatest. Um, I remember back two years ago when we had Bo Jackson on Christmas Day. I woke up, went on mad, and I saw 99 Bo Jackson has unveiled for my gift. Nothing has made me more excited than that moment right there, just because the fact he went for a million coins. Nonetheless, though, guys, going ahead and taking a look at this year's gifts, we do not know which ones are coming out, but most likely they will be revealed Friday. Now, how these gifts work is you can get them from solo challenges, you can get them from packs, and from sets. Now, these gifts, of course, will unveil into different things, some of them being just stupid stuff like a little pro pack or as we call them gold player packs some of them premium pack bundle some of them could be players as in out of position players like we saw johnny manzel at wide receiver before we saw russell wilson at wide receiver and we also saw william perry at fullback other gifts that could unveil and you can see right here they do go ahead and give a little predictions on what the gift might be on the box so that we can go ahead in these videos uh predict what gifts are going to be what and everything like that and obviously we're not going to be 100% correct but we'll be pretty correct now again these gifts again could be crazy good or crazy bad obviously getting a Bo Jackson would be insanely crazy out of a gift like a 99 overall but I don't think they're going to do that again they did that back in month 17 and that was crazy enough now going back a little bit though I do believe that one of these gifts will hold Troy I do believe he will be in this promo and i believe that would be the ultimate gift on christmas day to unlock a 99 troy in the game now if they do go ahead and do that i hope they don't do it like they did it back in madden 17 where they went ahead and ruined the game by adding a legend bo jackson right after that so if they do that i'm hoping they don't put a legend uh troy or if they do make it a little bit later so people who did pull that gift can have fun with the troy first before you know everyone gets troy um, I do hope they go, go, uh, do go ahead and release Troy to everybody, but I'm saying at first I hope they don't. They go ahead and make it exclusive to the people at the gift. So again, we will be talking about solo challenges, the players that could be in this promo. Later on in the video, again, this is what to expect. And yes, I am dedicating half the video to just the gifts. But guys, I gotta say enough, can't say enough. These gifts are so amazingly crazy. And this is what I love this promo because it's the unpredictability of... Of what you're going to pull out of these gifts. Now I know some people are like. Ah oh, who cares. You're just, just gifts. When it comes down to it. You can pull some crazy things out of these. And I don't know. Again that's just my excitement. It's a whole gamble of going ahead and getting gifts. And then not knowing what's going to be in it. It's the excitement of like Christmas day. When you wake up. You open up a gift that you don't have no idea what it is. And it could be something insanely crazy. Or something awful. Now this is another promo. This promo and the most feel promo has been promos in the past i made a crap ton of coins when i'm talking about insane amount of coins and main reason why yes i know it i can farm this promo you can farm the blitz promo i made around almost a million coins this year with the blitz promo i'm probably gonna make a million coins off the christmas promo because these gifts usually are farmable you usually can do these on farm accounts the solo challenges to get them and they're very awesome now depending on how you know common ea makes these or how rare they make them will depend on you know how much coins you get back for going and completing them. But I'm really hoping this year they go ahead and release a very rare one. And I know they had limited time ones last year. And they also had these premium, well, premium and non-premium gifts. But I'm really hoping this year they go ahead and make it really detailed. Just because of the fact that I feel like this is the best part of the promo. Obviously, if they have ghosts this year, this would be, you know, a sec take second place to the ghost. But... If they don't have ghosts this year and it's just like last year where we just have, you know, these gifts and then the main part of the promo, then I'm hoping they would go detail with these gifts. But you can see right here, like, going ahead and looking at these gifts, like, there's so much little details, little tiny little details. And some of them, you know, I feel like EA puts in just to troll us. But you see right here, like, looking at that, we had some on the right-hand side. We had some on the top. You never know what's going to be in that side of that gift. Again, it looks like that one, there's something on the right-hand side. Actually, no, this one was a um, read and react. There's a giant read and react sign on the front of the box. And again, you know, right here we have a hero, which is the Team of the Week hero. Um, going through, I'm not going to go through every single gift in this video from last year. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a general idea of what gifts are in there. And again, you know, people predicting on, uh, 
on Reddit all the time. This was actually a Larry Allen out of position card. I believe he was a fullback. Yeah, I think it was a fullback of Larry Allen uh, for this gift. And again, you know, it's crazy, crazy uh, things that happen. And of course, we have this one again, who is, I believe, was that Dion? I believe that was Dion wide receiver card. I believe that was Dion wide receiver card. And you guys can crack me down below. But let's go ahead and get past the gifts. And let's go ahead and talk about the other part of the promo, which of course is the actual part of the promo that everyone's going to be participating in. And that's going to be solo challenges. That's going to be sets. And that's going to be players. Now, of course, with that in mind, you can see right here, we did have some crazy sets in the game with being Bo Jackson. Now, last year, we had Bo Jackson in uh, literally Bo Jackson in every single position. This year, will we have that similar uh, type fact? Maybe. We'll have to wait and Well, fast guys cutting in. Yes, my man United and Orange said, there was a 34 that's really obvious on the left of Ocho Cinco. And if you look at the left of Ocho Cinco, you can see, or Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco, obviously is what he his name is now but you see the 34 right there i'll go ahead and show you this twice right there you can see on the left hand side and then right there this is a good example of you can see 34. so guys yes it is kind of confirming that we're gonna have bo jackson in this promo some way somehow maybe he'll be an op out of position player for every single position maybe he'll just be a legend in this promo but it is obvious and clear ea is trying to show 34 in this promo enjoy the rest of the video guys see you on that one but i will put a picture on the screen real fast someone actually pointed this out in my video uh, uh my last video uh earlier today where they said they saw a 34 on the side of chad johnson i'm gonna put it on the screen if i see it too if i don't see it too you will not see an image that's pretty much me saying i did not see the image i did not see the 34 but someone did say they saw a 34 so if i saw it i'll go ahead and put it on the screen um, nonetheless, though, with the Bo Jackson, or this year's going to be Chad Johnson. It's going to be so weird if they put Chad Johnson in every single position like they did with Bo. But if they do, though, we'll have to wait and see what they end up doing uh, with the Masters. Because, of course, the, all these Masters are legends. So we are going to be getting a lot of crap ton of legends in this promo. And again, as I said a million times, Troy could be one of those legends. We're probably going to get another Michael Vick out of position card. That's probably... Pretty much guaranteed at this point. Just because of how many people loved that Michael Vick last year with how OP it was. And you see right here, um, for example, you spend $100, you get a premium gift, and you also get a Legend Fantasy Pack. I'm expecting them to do a similar thing. You guys know this is EA Sports. They're going to make a way for you to spend money to get the gifts, right? That's just how it works. There will always be ways to get gifts without spending money, but that's going to be a majority of the way is by spending money. Now, right here, you can see uh, solo challenges. You do get a chance of a gold elite of 1 to 5k quick sell. If you went ahead and completed this, this was every single day. And then if you completed all these solo challenges, you did receive a out of position boss player. So I'm expecting the same thing to happen this year. You know, solo challenges will probably give us gifts. They'll probably give us an out boss player, most likely NAT. Uh, last year, I believe it was, it wasn't NAT last year, but this year will probably be NAT. And that's pretty much how it's going to work. And now, obviously, through these solo challenges, you will be able to get some training, which will be awesome. The boss player, whoever ends up being you pull, most likely will be discounted when it comes to the training value like they were with the last promo, uh, with the um, Madden Harvest promo. So most likely will be discounted like training value-wise. You won't get the full training value, but it will still probably be like 800 training value. Or you keep the player. Objectives will probably be similar <laughs> to what we have seen all year. We will be getting a team captain token with this promo. So whoever you end up chose, uh, whoever you chose as your team captain player, will be getting a plus one upgrade. So congratulations if you know whoever you end up having. I have Ray Lewis, so I will be getting a plus one upgrade of Ray Lewis, who's already freaking OP. But I've seen on uh, Twitter and Reddit, you guys have a lot of people have Jerry Rice, and that Jerry Rice. I'm not going to lie, I love Lulu, and I'm never going to move on from Lulu as my team captain. But that Rice has given me, given me hope. I mean, that Rice just looks beautiful how OP it looks. So I, I don't know, I'm probably not going to move on from uh, my man Lulu. But same though, that Rice looks awesome. Now, one last thing I want to talk about in this video as we look at motivators in this video because it's last year. <sighs> motivators, I wish you were here. Um, other than that, though, I want to go ahead and talk about one more thing in this video. And again, it's going to go ahead and be uh, the fact that we might get ghost players. Ghost future, ghost past, and ghost presence. 
I'm really hoping this year they bring them back. I know EA said they've claimed that they um, are listening a lot more to the community. And obviously the community have been talking in large part saying we want ghost players. And I'm really hoping EA listens to us this year and they bring them, bring us uh, those players back. Because those players were just awesome to see. It's awesome to see future players like you know these rookies we were watching and see them get awesome calls in the game. Or past players like the legends that, you know, Troy, <laughs> example. Um, you know, past players that were amazing. Or just present players. Just seeing, you know, the... Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Um, Tom Brady's or... Past could be Peyton Manning, which is... Please, EA. EA, EA, EA Sports. Peyton Manning, Troy. Put him in the game. I don't think anyone disagrees with that. Nonetheless, though... Um, you know, some, some legends in the past, and of course, some present players. I can't, uh, Antonio Brown obviously already has a higher roll card, so he wouldn't get a card. But, uh, so, you know, there's some OP players uh, right now. Aaron Donald, I believe, just got a card too. Again, there's a lot of players that I, I'm thinking on top of my head, but they already have cards. Julio Jones would be a great player to have in this, uh, what's it called, present promo for the Ghost players. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button real fast. Actually, free safety Calvin Johnson will probably come in this promo. Very OP. You guys know that. Uh, but again, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.